Welcome back to the channel, good friends. Brian from Apex Detail. It's been a while since we've done a vlog. We do vlogs, how-tos. We do the flip series. We do product reviews. Uh, we pretty much cover everything and anything when it comes to uh, automobiles, detailing, and beyond. But today we're working on a Mercedes AMG GTS. I thought I would take you along for the ride with this one. It'll be just a short two-part series. Uh, and we're going to cover everything from start to finish and we're starting the cleaning process and that begins with the wheels We're going to be coating the barrel of the wheels uh, We'll coat the wheels lip to lip and we will also coat the calipers as well carbon ceramic brake package on this GTS a beautiful vehicle The wheels are clean, but before we start the wash process, there are a few dings to take care of on the doors of the AMG here. They're tiny ones, but they need to be addressed. They will stick out like a sore thumb when it's perfectly corrected and protected. Everything is done in-house here at Apex Detail, so we're going to pull those dings out, get the panels perfectly straight again, and then we can continue on with that wash process. It's funny, as you pull the dings out and uh, make the panel flat, other ones will appear as the larger ones draw your attention, and sometimes you miss them, and that's exactly what happened right here. We straighten out the ding towards the handle itself, and another one appears. So we'll take care of it. That makes three total we have pulled out from the surface of this vehicle. Back to the wash process, and this will be slightly different than, oh, let's take a maintenance visit, for example, where I break out the foam cannon. This can be done uh, either by a rinseless, if the vehicle is just lightly uh, dusty or soiled, or what I'll do here is I'll just thoroughly rinse it first before a contact wash. I'll take my time, get off bug splatter, uh, any grit that I can, anything towards the back of the car, how dust flies up around and starts to attach itself back there. Uh, but we'll cut the foam cannon part of it out. Uh, it's getting corrected anyways. It will do, uh, this process will do no more damage to the vehicle than it's already there. Um, so we're just saving a bit of time. When it comes to that contact wash, it will be the same uh, as normal. One bucket, multiple mitts. One for the top of the car, one for the driver's side, one for the passenger side, one for the back, one for the front. Five total. That way you're never introducing grit and dirt back into the bucket. And yes, we are using the Apex Auto Wash. I'll try to remember links for these products and tools down below in the description box. Also, when it comes to the drying process, no leaf blowers, it's not coated yet. And again, it's getting corrected shortly. 
Uh, so we're going to use a drying towel. I'm just trying to keep it real with you guys. Uh, yeah, I know there's, you know, the videos are sexy with uh, wearing all of the headgears and using the foamers and, and all the sexy shots and, and tools, but I'm trying to keep it real and show you what really goes on at a functioning shop that puts out a lot of work every day, every week, every month, all year, and how it's really done. These here, by the way, are the marks we're going to be going after with the sun out nice and bright. You get to see what we will be tackling when it comes to the paint correction. We also then bring it right inside and go over the whole vehicle with a strong panel prep to remove any old waxes or sealants. After that's complete, it's time to jump in the interior and get that finished first. What a gorgeous interior this has. There is some damage on the driver's side seat. We will take care of that. We will fill it, texture it, and then re-dye it. And it doesn't take long because we are finished. The dye is already cured, and here is the finished product looks better than new. With the repair complete, it's time to thoroughly clean it. We'll pull out the floor mats and give it a vac. Floor mats and any upholstery will be freshened up with the 3D204 upholstery and carpet shampoo. For just lightly soiled floor mats and carpeting, I'll cut a little bit of it 5 to 1 in a 32 ounce spray bottle. Mist the carpet and then break out the attachment for the dual action polisher, the longer softer bristles. I normally won't get aggressive with upholstery, especially with the shorter, real stiff bristles, unless it's heavily soiled, and that will avoid fraying of the material. Let's get back to that leather. It's been repaired and fully cured. It's time to clean it thoroughly. And that's getting in uh, the stitches and the seams where the panels and the patches come together. That's where food and crumbs and grit and dirt will settle. And as you rush in and out uh, of the seats, entering and exiting, those panels will rub together with the grit in between and that will prematurely wear down the top coat on the leather. Modern leather has a top coat uh, it's you know, a little similar to clear coat but it's permeable not quite as thick and it's not glossy we can clean that with the 3d lvp cleaner we'll use that to clean the leather and also plastics
Leather, plastics, textured plastics, vinyl, such as the material on the door here, including some more leather, sprayed into a microfiber and just wiped down the area. And repeat that process to the dash. Time to work on the Alcantara running up the A-pillar. A little bit of the Sonax foaming Alcantara. You can also use steam, just do not oversaturate the area. We want to choose some serious protection for the leather especially and the plastics. We want to lock in that repair we did to the driver's side seat. So the interior ceramic uh, coating from Hydroselex will be the choice. It's a simple spray on, wipe off. I spray into a microfiber, spread it out throughout the area, flip over the microfiber, and just lightly kick it back a bit. It will dry looking and feeling natural. If I was to do just interior protection itself, I would let it sit overnight and then release the vehicle. But since it's in here for other major work besides that, it'll have plenty of time to cure. But looking clean, fresh, and fantastic. Okay, moving right along, and although the shop manager wants to lick the camera for some reason, we need to get to the exterior, and I have been looking forward to this. Uh, I will bring you guys in close, and we'll use a, a swirl finder, and you'll be able to see exactly what we're going after. These are light, topical love marks, so this is uh, damage you would find from... Uh, improper and sometimes even proper wash technique can cause love marks with it being just uh, natural unprotected clear coat it doesn't take much to get these love marks in the surface of your vehicle but they can easily be removed Okay, at this point, I'm going to take a break. I'll catch you guys in the next installment. This is just a short series, thorough but short, and we'll be back for the paint correction and the protection in the next video. Thanks for stopping by. Catch you in the next video.